Hi everyone, welcome again. My name is Larissa Lopez and you're watching the 12 habits that changed my life. Uh, today I want to talk to you about something really, really, really important. You know, so far everything that happened to me was kind of natural. I, I wasn't conscious of what was happening to me. And this fifth habit is the start of self-development, you know, self-education. And I want you to learn how to take care of yourself, how to feed your body, your mind and your heart. A lot of people ask me, how did your life change so much and so fast, you know? And I am going to tell you the secret right now. You can't expect changements and be attached to the person you are. You have to be willing to do something you've never done before and allow yourself to go to that place where you don't know who you are going to become. You just know that it's going to be someone better, but you have to blindly accept the fact that the old you is dead and there's no way you're going back to that point ever again and you need to embrace something new this new reality and i think that happened to me through self-education searching for better ways to to be to exist you know so this research of how to take care of myself is started by my body I, I had to admit to myself that so far I was doing a horrible job. So I, I had to learn r literally what my body needed to survive. And I created a special menu for myself with the things that I love to eat and also would give me the things my body needs to work. And when you go search for this kind of information, you should get ready to be shocked, you know, to really learn the truth there's this quote that says that the the truth will set you free get ready for this my friend because you know when you learn all of the empty calories you're eating you know the the food doesn't taste the same anymore i took off a lot of things from my menu because i realized they weren't food you know they were so artificial and gave me nothing good actually that it, it didn't make sense to eat it and you have to be open to change yourself drastically you have to be open to this new way of living that will come through self-education because when you learn the truth about what you're eating uh, it's possible that you're not gonna want to eat the thing that you love so much today anymore. And that's what happened to me. I didn't know the power of nutrition. My body wasn't working the way it was supposed to do, but I didn't know that because I had been feeding myself that way my whole life. So I, I didn't know life could be different. And once I started putting the right vitamins and the right minerals in my, in my body and giving it what it needed to, to work, it changed me completely. It's just to give you examples, uh, my energy, you know, I have much more energy now and I can't concentrate in things in a way I couldn't before. I get, I, I got more focused since I started really do, giving my body what it really needs. I sleep better, I can really rest. All the pains are over, you know, I used to have a lot of headache and little pains here and there and it's everything gone, you know, it's incredible. And I know it's because of food. Because sometimes when I'm on vacation or holidays, you know, Christmas, something like that, and I eat some things that I don't normally eat now, it all comes back. My stomach starts complaining and I start having headaches again, uh, feeling tired, and my skin, I start having acne again. You know, my skin has improved so much since I started doing you it. You can really feel in your body, you know, in your skin, uh, in your level of energy, in your concentration. It's impossible to keep acting the same way once you know the truth about what you're doing, when, when you're conscious about what you're doing. So I strongly advise you to go search for the information about what your body really needs to survive, to keep working, you know, 
and give it a try. You shouldn't trust yourself and your body to someone else's knowledge. You should search for yourself what do you think is better for you it doesn't matter if they are doctors or if they have any degree in nutrition or whatever you need to start understanding for yourself the consequences of what you're putting in your body and what you really need to work you know to keep working and it needs to come from if, you if you don't understand these things for yourself you will never have the strength you need to change and of course feeding yourself doesn't mean only your body so you also have to learn how to feed your mind and when it comes to feed your mind the most important thing is to learn how to take the control in your hands you know we are exposed to so much information all the time it's, it's aggressive you most know most people think that the secret to success is to know everything about everything you know is to follow the news and know what's happening the other side of the planet and and most successful people actually say that the secret to success is focus and steve jobs uh, used to say that focus it's about saying no we need to select we need to learn how to say no and we need to learn how to disconnect our brain and allow it to the peace it needs to think clearly you need to stop being available to the world 24 hours a day and for me what i've done is that i decided to uh, put in my agenda the time to receive this information. I set time for Facebook and for social media. I don't check my emails when I wake up or, or when I'm about to sleep. You know, I save time for my brain to start resting from these things uh, way before I'm in bed. I don't allow anymore the information to get to me. You know, I go search for it in the time I put in my calendar to do it. You have to protect your brain from all this junk you don't want and you also must feed your brain with the information you do want, you do need. You have to learn how you can be better, you know, how you can improve yourself. Spend some time searching for videos like this or for books or for documentaries. Learn what you need to learn to become who you want to become. I don't know what you want to become, who you want to be, but I'm sure that if you start searching for the information, the answers will appear. There's this quote that says that when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And I've, I've lived this in my life, you know, since I started searching for uh, information about how to feed myself, for example, I, it came to me so many great things that I didn't know. You just need to start searching. And I hope you do this because it, that self-education is the way to change your life. I'm going to put some links of the documentaries I've watched. And I, and I hope you do search for the truth and start treating your body and your mind the way you deserve to be treated. Uh, and of course, we can't forget about feeding our hearts. And most of the time, eating disorders are emotional problems that manifested in this way. It could have manifested through alcohol addiction or drug addiction, uh, sex addiction. And you have to learn how to feed your heart with the thing that it needs to be fed instead of searching in food or in any other drugs, the thing that it's craving, you know, because you're your heart is not craving for food your heart is craving for love and the way you feed your heart is through giving i know it seems weird but i do believe in that quote that says that what goes around comes around the more you give the more you will receive you know you start if you start doing more that you are paid for for example in your job or in your studies or uh, in your relationship if you start appreciating your partner or your friends or your family the people that are around you that support you if you start letting them know how important they are for you you're gonna receive 
it back because what you receive back it's something that inspire your soul it's it warms up your heart and you you can't buy this in stores you can't eat it you can't drink it you can't feel these things that your heart needs to feel through food it's just impossible so you have to learn how to feed your heart and how to stay warm inside and automatically you're gonna stop craving for food because all along what you needed was this feeling was this love that you only get through giving so if you need love be especially loving with those around you if you need time give you know take one hour off your busy agenda and go to a shelter or to a rest home or to an orphanage or or even with the members of your family you know you can just listen have the patience to listen to them most people don't give because they don't believe they have anything to give and you can give encouragement you can give love you can give time you know you can go you can you can hear someone that needs to be heard uh, there's so many ways you can give something to someone without involving money the little things are the most important ones and if you take one hour of your week to give your attention to someone else it will put your life in perspective you know you're gonna look at your life in a different way you're gonna be more grateful for the people and the things you have in your life you're gonna appreciate what you have uh, it's gonna make you feel warm inside and really happy because you you know that you're doing something good for someone else something important for someone else and that's the most warming feeling that we can ever feel you are the one that has to search for the information and learn how to take care of yourself and how to feed your body with the things it needs and how to feed your mind and give it time to to rest and learn Learn how to feed your heart, how to keep it warm so you don't have this need for food anymore. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this podcast. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I see you next week. Hey guys, I just wanted to take a minute to say how much I appreciate all your support. Uh, everyone who shared this, these videos on Facebook or liked it or just talked to a friend about it. I really, really, really appreciate everything you've been doing for me. All this support, all this love. And I'm doing this to really help as many people as I can. So please keep sharing it. Keep, please keep talking to your friends about it. And help me to spread this message for those who need it. Uh, thank you very, 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 very much for watching. If you have any question, you can contact me on Facebook or Twitter or send me your comment below. I really want to know your questions, your opinion, how you're doing. So please feel free to contact me anytime. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching again. Bye.